While gas motors have been around for years, electric motors have come a long way. So before you invest your hard earned money, let's help you decide which one is right for you. In this video, we'll cover the pros and the cons of the highly sought after Honda 4 stroke 2.3 gas outboard and the incredible brushless Torquedo Travel 1103C electric motor. I'm Hawaiian Dan from SeaEagle.com. Deciding on a gas or electric motor can seem a bit daunting, but don't worry. In this video, I'll provide you with enough information to help you make a sound decision about which motor is right for you. For starters, many people ask which technology is better, gas or electric, but that really depends on what you're trying to achieve. Let's begin with the pros and the cons of each motor. Beginning with the Honda 4-stroke 2.3 20-inch long shaft gas outboard. Now, Honda and Torquedo both offer short shafts, but the long shafts pair perfectly with Sea Eagle products, so that's what we'll be reviewing in this video. The pros of the Honda 2.3 are, it's ultra light, weighing in at just 31 pounds, making it extremely easy to transport, carry, and install. It swivels 360 degrees which allows you to steer in all directions. The tiller handle flips to enable full thrust in reverse and folds up or down for easy stowing. It also has a 1.1 liter or just over a quarter gallon internal fuel tank that provides up to 60 minutes wide open runtime. And with the Sea Eagle 437 paddle ski that's 8 miles per hour. And it's accompanied by Honda's true 5 year non depreciating transferable warranty. So you're getting a whole lot of bang for your buck. For its size and what it offers, it's a true powerhouse. Now for the cons. It's a gas engine. So you're definitely not getting away from fumes and exhaust. It's forced air cooled, so while you don't have to worry about a broken water pump, maintenance, or a clogged water flow, it's definitely not fun. So having a discussion or sneaking up on fish is not going to be easy. And although it does have an ultra low three star carb emissions rating, which means it uses environmentally conscious technology, it still leaves a carbon footprint. And you're not getting away from the maintenance of a combustible gas engine, which includes spark plugs, oil changes, and winterizing it during the off season. Now for the Torquedo Travel 1103C electric motor. The pros. You never have to worry about fuel or oil. That's definitely a plus. It's as quiet as a kayak or a sailboat. It is also lightweight, weighing in at just 39 pounds with the battery, which also makes it extremely easy to transport, carry, and install. Now, Torquedo claims that its cutting edge technology enables it to produce approximately a three horsepower equivalent in propulsive power at peak output. And it has an excellent 170 degree turning radius and reverse throttle. The tiller tilts up and is removable for ease of stowing. It's powered by an integrated, removable, easy to charge, high tech wonder lithium battery that holds 915 watt hours of energy. That's roughly equivalent to the usable energy of a 60 pound lead acid battery, but weighs only 13 pounds. The thing to keep in mind is the faster you go, the exponentially faster you'll use up battery power. Two Note, with a 437 paddle ski at roughly two miles an hour, we're using only 20 watts of energy with an estimated range of 75 miles or 38 hours runtime. Four at four hour. miles per hour, we're using 220 watts with an estimated range of 16 miles or four hours runtime. And wide open at seven miles per hour or 1080 watts, with an estimated range of five miles or 45 minutes. So at two miles per hour, the slower speed, you can pretty much run all day long as I've experienced while making this video. And at eight miles per hour wide open, you can cover approximately five miles, which equates to roughly 45 minutes of wide open runtime. Now to have an electric motor that can cruise all day long and power through certain conditions and situations when you really need it, that's pretty exceptional. And it's accompanied by a two year warranty. Now is it a lot of bang for your buck? Well, there actually is no bang at all. Just the whispering quiet power to truly allow you to enjoy nature and the outdoors. Now for the cons. At the time of this video, it is considerably more expensive than the Honda 2.3. And you do have to keep a close eye on power usage. If you just plan on running it at full throttle and full power all the time, you're probably going to be somewhat disappointed with the battery life of around 45 minutes. However, with careful monitoring, you can get 
a lot out of that 915 watt hour battery and cruise pretty much all day long, but only if you use just the right amount of power you need at any given time. To summarize which motor is best for you, let's create a list and award points to each motor. Weight. We're going to give that one to Honda. It's a few pounds lighter. Portability. Torquedo. There's no worries about gas or oil or fumes. Definitely Torquedo. Power. It's a break even at 8 miles per hour top speed for both motors. Runtime. Honda. We're going to give that to Honda because you can run it wide open much longer. Silent motoring. Torquedo. Carbon footprint, definitely Torquedo. Ease of use, Torquedo. Convenience, Torquedo. Maintenance, next to none with the Torquedo. And the warranty, we're gonna give that one to Honda with five years coverage over Torquedo's too. Price, the initial cost, we're gonna give that one to Honda. Now, the additional pluses of the Honda are, due to the extremely efficient use of gasoline, taking along a one gallon gas can will extend your range by four times providing roughly five hours of wide open runtime if you include the internal gas tank. The additional pluses of the Tokido are the integrated telehandle computer with GPS based range, speed, power usage, and battery reserve is pretty cool. The battery can also be charged while on and off the water with a compatible solar panel that will further extend your range. Now that video is to come so be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on it. And to extend your range even further, you can purchase additional batteries. So on paper, it seems that Torquedo beats out Honda 10 to 5. However, in my honest opinion, it really comes down to what you're trying to achieve and your budget. The things I love about the Honda 2.3 are power, speed, range, and efficiency. I can literally run wide open as far and as long as I want, as long as I bring enough fuel and it doesn't take much. Remember, a simple one gallon gas can will extend your range by four times. So if you don't mind dealing with gas, maintenance, and a little bit of engine noise, the Honda 2.3 four-stroke gas outboard is the way to go. Now what I love about the Torquedo 1103C is how truly quiet it is. If you've never had the pleasure of enjoying the wonderful beauty of the outdoors in complete silence without the sound of a gas engine, you're in for a real treat. It's as quiet as a kayak or a sailboat, and because it's so quiet, I'm able to have this conversation with you without having to scream over a gas engine. You can actually hear my voice right now as I'm powering up this current-filled channel while still having plenty enough power and speed to power through it and into this beautiful creek. And at around 2 miles per hour, one can pretty much cruise around and enjoy this beautiful scenery for the entire day. You'll just want to keep a close eye on battery usage, especially at higher speeds. So if you'd like to hold a conversation while boating or quietly observe nature in silence, then the Torquedo 1103C is right for you. Another thing to keep in mind when considering gas or electric motors are the waterways that don't allow gas engines, but do allow electric motors. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you decide between a gas or electric motor. And if you find this video helpful and like to see others like it, subscribe to the Sea Eagle Boats YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Hit the notification bell and the thumbs up button so you don't miss out on a single video. And remember to share this with your family and friends. To hear the latest about sales and new product releases, be sure to subscribe to our email list by clicking on the link in the video description below. Remember to post your comments and questions in the section below, and I'll post links to the products and optional accessories mentioned in this video in the video description below as well as a timestamp table of contents so you can easily jump from one section or topic of this video to another. Until next time, I'm Hawaiian Dan with SeaEagle.com and I'll see you out on the water. Aloha.